Hey. Thought I'd show you my most recent project. As you can see, I've been working on the tub. Seems to leak, you know, in a couple spots, but nothing I can't fix. So actually, uh, it might be useful to tell you how um, you can actually take apart one of these. What I do is I take the sawzall and I cut a seam through here and then pull off these pieces. So that's what it would have looked like originally. You do the same for the top, uh, but you can be a little more liberal there. And then once you have that off, uh, you can start just cutting slivers out of it, like I've been doing. And then they just come off real easy. Super lightweight. Uh, and surprisingly not very sturdy once you start taking it apart. For comparison, I thought I'd show you uh, the guest bath that I've already worked on a bit. Still have some finishing touches to do. In here, I'm not going to bother with uh, replacing the tub, uh, even though it's an off-white, a yellow. Every time you're working on a project, you know, it always pays to uh, look for some of the uh, odds and ends that you can finish up or patch up while you have walls exposed or furniture out of the way or, you know, flooring ripped up. And in this case, I noticed that there's some uh, insulation missing. So once I get the, uh, the rest of this tub out, I'll definitely go in with a couple spare pieces and patch that up. Over here we have what used to be my vanity. It's just a 32 inch uh, kitchen counter um, base. I'm gonna be switching that out for a nice double uh, sink vanity, 60 inches, because I have plenty of room in here. Also took the mirror and the light down, as well as getting some of the outlets ready just to kind of get stuff out of here. Demo obviously creates a lot of debris, so I highly recommend having a shop vac. I thought while I'm taking some videos, I might as well show you uh, my living room. This has definitely changed quite a bit since I moved in. So originally it was white, or slightly off-white carpet throughout, wall to wall. And I decided to switch it out for uh, this laminate wood product at Home Depot. Here's the table I built that I'm still working on. Bits and pieces of. Some metal top. Made out of angle bracket and wood. It's a nice uh, industrial uh, piece. It was a lot of fun to put together. I've definitely learned a lot. Trial and error goes a long way when working on a new project with unfamiliar materials. But I'm very happy with how it's turned out.